You guys have arrived in Needle's Bones. Woo! Congratulations. Hey. Now I need to take you to the map of Needle's Bones. The map says that this is Needle's Bones. You see before you a large pit um, that's 30 feet down. Because the oh level... Over, yeah. You notice the level around you, the green area where there's grass and stuff? That's level three. And the bluish, darky area is depth one. So the water is 30 feet down. And then the water is about five feet deep. Wall hops, get to it. You see down there, you see a big skeleton that you can only assume is a dragon's. Well, and hops, there's a bunch of vines and moss over it. You can see in here little froggies ribbiting down below and kind of snapping bugs out of the air. They're standing on lily pads or rocks or sticks or whatnot and hopping around. Um, I asked the guide, you know, what now? Like, what are you after? Well, I... I just have the map to the place. Apparently, there's a dragon's horde here, and the dragon's dead. Well, you can see, there's... that. That's probably Needle's bones. That skeleton there's probably a dragon. That means its horde is in here somewhere. If it's we still left. If it's still left, yeah. But there's been no reports of people coming into Fort Nianzaru with a dragon's horde. Well, they'd be stupid to bring it out all at once. I'd bring it out little by little. Oh, that's why we're here. This is why we're here. Dragon's Horde, man. Um, I'll shift up to the edge and see if I can't see anything. Do I see anything different? Um, you, get a, you got a better look at the skeleton. It does look like a dragon skeleton. You see the frogs. You notice that there's vegetation growing everywhere the the it's basically a sheer straight down sort of rocky stony and some dirt around their wall right it's basically a sheer drop um but you notice around where you're standing where things are brown nothing's really growing there nothing at all but everything's growing everywhere else huh it's weird yeah and nothing's growing there the whole length of the way down But there, everywhere else, there's vines, whatnot. Is there any chance that somebody would know why? Um, from looking at it. Is there any chance that somebody might have a skill that might help them? No. Okay. Can Hobbs talk to the froggies? Is that a thing he can do? Maybe. They speak grung. Um, I don't think so. That's expecting these frogs to speak grung is kind of like expecting a monkey to speak English. Oh, like these okay. frogs to you hops are what monkeys are to humans. What about I'll cast, I'll cast yeah. speak with animals. Yes. Sure. Uh, hello, froggies. Um, uh, perchance, uh, can uh, you tell me what happened to? the dragon that was here and where his horde is. Still here to me. Look, he's right there. I've I've never seen it alive. Do you know where his gold is? I, I haven't seen any gold around here. Do you know why there's no uh, vegetation over here? Oh, wow. They're in scores one. I got to play. I got to I got to talk dumb. Why there's no vegetation around there? Why why no plants here? Why no food here? Taste bad. Bad taste, no eat. Bad taste, poison? Bad taste, no eat. Ah. They say there's a bad taste in the soil, guys. Hmm. Um, you know delicious, right? Delicious, right. Snaps a bug out of the air. You want me eat you? 
No. No, all right. Then you shut the fuck up. M- me help. Me help. We're, sh- we're shiny things. Not no. Damn. They're these in stores one, man. These fuckers don't know where the shiny things are. Hmm. Uh, the guide reminds you that Needle died like hundreds of years ago. Hmm. And you all know, because you live in the world of Dungeons and Dragons, that dragons typically hide their hoard with some sort of magic or something. It's very hard to find a dragon's hoard. Even if you um, know the location of it, it's hard to get into. Hmm. Uh, I'll roll Knowledge Arcana to see if I can't know any... Sure. For any, uh, like, signs. Shit. Are there any signs of magic around here? Um... Um, Would Amber have a spell to help with that? Any signs? Yeah, Arcana check, have you seen any magic? From the top, not really, but there could be lower down. You um, can't really get a good angle. I asked the, the frog to, you know, hit poppity over to the bones. I guess I will. What, you you yeah, asked Hops to do it? Okay. Well, I, I was asking a, a, one of the, my frog friends. Oh. But you can do it if you want to. Sure, I'll go hip and a hopping and go do it. So About- as as you're hopping down hops, the other frogs see you, and they give you the um, universal sign of danger. Whatever that is for frogs, I don't know. Bro, don't do it. They kind of go. And it's too late. It's as you were jumping down. Okay. But you're you're Uh-oh. where did you jump down? Let's say there. there. How did you plan on jumping back up? It's 35 feet deep. I can climb. Okay. Yeah. Back up. Yeah. So they, they give you the the the, the sort of um, I asked you know the frogs danger. what danger? What danger? Water. Water poison? Water monster? Rah. Rah. Hops, you better get the fuck out of there. I guess um, I'm going to climb back up. When I hops, you notice that none of the frogs are swimming. You know these frogs can swim. These frogs look like they can swim. But they're, all, they're not in the water. They're all on top of things coming out of the water. Eating the bugs that like to hang out down there. Okay, I'm going to climb back up. Can somebody throw something in the water? You you have Gondalo. Oh. <laughs> you have Gondalo. Have vines. Well, aren't they? You said there were vines, right? Yeah, th- yeah. there's some vines going down. Would that help? You can cut some, you can get vines down and watch them fall down. You can throw stuff down if you want. Hmm. <sighs> Um, are the frogs under any... Are the frogs affected by magic of any sort currently? That's um, something that I can just tell by looking at a beast and, like, gesturing at it. Oh. Um, nope. Okay. One of them, the one that Ch- Chaskier's been talking to, seems unusually intelligent. But it could just be a freak one-off mutant. Okay. It, no real signs of magic on these frogs okay um i'll toss a rock into the water all right uh make a perception check for me 
with disadvantage because you're far away from the water's surface and things are murky. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, all right. That's pretty high. So you throw the rock in the water and you see some stuff swim away from where the water fell in. Like huh. you saw some fishies or something kind of swim away. I asked the frog, what fishies? Ouchie. Good. Ouchie fishies. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hey, uh, Hops, I think you want to get out of there. There might be piranha in the water. Yeah, I've already climbed up. Now, guys, mm. you know your intelligence high enough to know that this water is only five feet deep, and it's standing water. There's no river going in here. So whatever's in this water is small enough to hide in, like, five feet of water. Yeah. It's, um, it's piranha. It's fucking piranha. Those fucking bastards. Okay. Would I, could I know that from my knowledge nature? Yeah. It's a it's probably a piranha or something the size of a piranha, you know. What does the book say about piranha? It's some small fish. I don't know. I got a 17 for knowledge nature. What did you want to know? Um if there are any fish that meet the description. Oh, like a piranha? Yeah. Yeah. You got a 17? Um, yeah, quibbers, quippers are a fish that would match that description. It might be quivers. Quippers. Let me find. Quitters. Where are they? Oh, it's under. Q-U-I-P-P-E-R. Yep. Quippers. Q-U-I-P-P-E-R. Could be quippers. Okay. I have an idea, boys and girls. Let's pour this here oil into the water and then light it. No, we're not burning those frogs alive. I have a lot of oil with me. And I got fire breath in me. I start pouring the oil into the water. So, um, Jess Gear, you know, like, each hex is five feet, right? Oh uh, yeah, I stopped pouring. Like oil this into is the water. this is massive. Like that dragon is big. Like you need a lot of oil, man. I don't think you can carry enough oil. No. Um, I ask the quippers actually. Hey, quippers, are you in there? They, I don't think they can hear. They can't hear you. Well, they can hear the vibrations. That's not... You gotta be... No, they, you gotta be under the water. Um, somebody tie, tie a rope up here and pull me back up if I shout for it. I'm gonna try and talk to these fish. All right, let's do it. All right, I tie a rope off to the triceratops. Hey, triceratops, that, move over this way. That makes sense. Okay, I'll tie a rope to him, and I'll slowly lower myself down. As yeah. soon as I yell for it, I want that Triceratops to back the fuck up to pull me out of the water. That's very smart. That's smart thinking. Okay, I'll put my face under the water. Hey, Quippers! They, they, they turn, and they see you, and they're like, FOOD! Food is food. Food. And not all food. Them. Not food. It's food. You're going to need no one hell of a... food. You're going to need a hell of a persuasion check, man. DC Taste 20 disgusting. Per... Smell food. Smell like food. Look Smell like bad. Food. Smell no like bad food. Look like food. food is food. No bad, bad, bad. DC 20 persuasion check. DC Shit. 20. Look like food. Smell like food is food. Why do these fish sound like me? Fuck! <laughs> oh!
Excellent job, friend. Okay, okay, so, Jaskier, you see below the water surface. They were all coming at you going, food, 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 and then one of them was like, wait, not food. Not food. Not food. Oh, not food. And they all kind of swim away. Is there anything in the water that I can see, like, under the bones? Is there gold there? No. Oh, uh, you can see some other bones that are smaller than the dragons. Definitely not the dragon's bones. Something else. Um, You can see some little... uh. You find some... Digging around, with feeling with your hands, you find some old spearheads. Hmm. So I, I ask the quippers, uh, you know where shiny things are? Hand. Hand. And kind of points to your hand, which is holding a spearhead. Do you know where gold shiny things are? Kind of points over to the bones that look a little gold. A little yellowish goldy. Hmm. I investigate the bones. Are the bones uh, made of gold? No. They're a little yellowed. Hmm. What um, go- these bones sell for anything in the market? I mean, they're the dragon's bones. They are dragon bones. We could sell them for a lot. I'm down for selling them. Um, Make an investigation check on the dragon for me. Okay. Um, nine. Okay. Um, you notice there's a lot of vines over the dragon skeletons. And there aren't a lot of vines elsewhere. There's some, but most of the vines are over the dragon. Um, I'll start peeling some of the vines back. Okay. Um, yeah, you're noticing the dragon, it's got a lot of, its bones have a lot of slash and puncture marks on it. And you now notice that some of these bones belong to goblins. Some of these are goblin bones mixed up. What the hell the did goblins take down a whole fucking dragon? Would have had it been a lot of them. Jesus. Uh, I tell this to the party. Hey, guys, this dragon seems like it was taken down by goblins. You also notice some quipper bones kind of intertwined underneath the dragon. Oh, I mean, that would make sense. Quippers live around here. Yeah. Um, I ask uh, the remaining guide if he wants me to pull any of the bone dragon bones out so he can sell them. He says to you, we're only going to get paid for the skull, really. We can't transport the whole skeleton back, and dragon skulls are valuable. Alright, I'll see. But I want to... He, he, um... He's gonna... He's gonna kind of pull him... He tied another rope to the Triceratops, and he's coming down. He's, He's on belay. Gotcha. Right. He wants, this has been what he wants to do, so he's going to do some stuff. Uh, let me see, what was it? He's going to make an investigation check, which unfortunately is just a plus zero for him. What was that? Eight. Eight? No, nope, he didn't learn anything you didn't know. All right, I'll um, swim over to the skull, and I'll tie the rope off to the skull. Yeah. Okay, that makes and sense. And I'll, I'll tell the Triceratops to pull me up. Okay, the Triceratops pulls you up Shwing! and the skull. Um, Eventually, we're going to say the skull just snaps off of the spine, you know? And you get the skull up. This guy comes up too. Um, and you guys can tell that this is the skull of a green dragon. 
Well, no uncle of mine, no skin off my bones. What do we know about green dragons? Aren't green dragons poison? I think they might be. I'm checking it out. Yeah, let's see what type of dragon are green dragons, guys. They're evil. Yeah. Yep. Poisonous chlorine gas. Poison. And they're very evil. All right, the scout is going to make a nature check. Plus four. Eight. No. Not high enough, but high enough to know. The scout goes up to Amber and says, Poison, poison. What, what effect would poison have on this environment around here? On the plants and whatnot. Do you know? Do you know, Amber? Do I know? Yeah. You can make a nature check to see if you know. Okay. Um, you also notice that the head was over here. So the tail was there. Okay. 18. Alright, you know some types of poison? Especially poison from a green dragon. We'll just kill plant life. Okay. So that would be why there's no life even that many years after? Yeah, it just ruined the soil. Forever. Oh, a really long time. Gosh. Okay, I'll share that with everyone. Should we, should we dig here? It's way too high to dig. Hmm. So the soil is dead from the poison of the dragon even this long ago. And this is the tail end of the dragon. And the dragon obviously died fighting some goblins. Mm-hmm. You must have breath blasted some goblins right here. Well, if you notice, it's not facing that way. Right, I mean, it was a dramatic freaking fight, right? Like, a la Mufasa, mm-hmm. now, why falling from think, the fucking cliff. Why do you think goblins would try to take down this dragon, knowing they're gonna suffer tremendous losses? To take its horde. But you know goblins aren't that smart. They might not be able to figure out the trick to getting into the horde, even if they knew where it was. Right. But the dragon would have died protecting it, the horde, so it would have been underneath him, right? Maybe? Oh, oh that, that you're, uh, that's good thinking. Dragon would have, yeah, the dragon, you know, the dragon could have just flown away. No, like Possibly. the dragon will go out of the way for the horde. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a reason why the dragon didn't just fly away when it was being attacked uh, by a bunch of goblins. I'll climb back down with my rope still attached to the triceratops. Yep. And dig underneath the dragon. Dig, 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 Give dig. me another investigation check. Thirteen. All right, just made it. You notice these vines are in a very regular pattern. Too regular to be just natural. This was a net. It's a vine net that trapped the dragon. Um, As you dig around, you find nothing out of the ordinary that you didn't already see. I told Um, the other guys about the net. Oh, a druid or somebody must have been with the goblins. Make an intelligence check for me. Seven. Do you add any mods to that? Uh, I don't think so. No. No? Okay. I can't, I can't help you with that then. Would anything in my draconic ancestry, like from the knowledge that I might have, help? Yeah, I mean, 
you know some stuff about dragons. Um, you know that dragon hordes are typically stored like in something, and there's often a magical something keeping it shut. Does anyone have to detect magic or anything like that? I can only detect magic for beasts, and mm. the frogs seemed okay to me. You know that oftentimes dragons will um, incorporate their breath into their magical operations somehow. And since it's, it's fun. Tail- I mean, it's a poisonous lake, right? Not necessarily. Mm. Yeah? Is it? The um, frogs didn't know. They just thought, hmm. Amber, you find it, knowing what you know about nature, this lake is not poison. Okay. There's mm. quippers living in it. There's frogs that, like, insects go down there to drink the water and the moisture. The frogs go down there to eat the insects. And then the quippers live off the frogs. So what would There's the effect of poison be? Down here. What? What would the effect of poison be on things? Well, at this point, you know that um, the area here has no vegetation right. on it. And you know this area tastes bad to the frogs. So there's a chance it's and you know that buried poison, there? Yeah, that you know that poison from dragon breath can just kill plants. Mm-hmm. Would it be buried, guys? You also know there's a whole wall. There's a whole cliff edge. Um, can Jaskier see anything down there on the wall? I inspect where the, dead the wall is? cliff edge. All right. Is there anything in there? Give me a perception check. And you're like on the wall, going up and down. Kind of, you can climb it. You got the rope as a safety thing. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Nothing yet. Keep looking though. You're still looking around. I'm gonna look. Nineteen. Oh, why don't? All right. After some looking, you find something that looks. You find a hidden stone door. It's kind of natural looking and hidden, but you're like, "Oh, this is totally a door." Like this stone, it it looks natural. It looks like everything else, but no, this is totally a door. I tell the guys, found a door. There's no There's no knob. I try and pry it open with my dagger. It doesn't work. I rub my poison on it. It opens. (laughs) All right. Perfect. The one time, the one time diddling something helped the frog. I I, I honestly thought that um, finding the door wouldn't take you guys long and figuring out how to open it would take forever. But that's not what happened. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, hand. The port's on page 80. Let me find. So, Hops and Jaskier can just kind of pop in. But other people... Yeah, you're going to have to lower yourselves down to avoid the quippers. There's a bunch of them in there. All right. Treasure. A ten foot wide, ten foot high secret door in the wall of the grotto conceals a fifteen foot deep alcove. Secret door, blah blah blah. Okay, Needle hid the following items in the alcove. A purse made from Triceratops hide. A small box made from two Velociraptor skulls cleverly fitted together. And a hollow dinosaur bone with a wax, with a wax plug at one end. The purse contains 55 GP, 800 SP, and three blue quartz rings, 10 GP each. 
The skull box is worth 12 GP and contains a wand of fear. And two diamonds, 500 GP each. The hollow dinosaur bone contains five plus one arrows. We can always write that down later. Yeah, you said that entirely too fast. Yeah, I can write it down later or something. Um, it's a bunch of money. The only things that could help you now would be the wand of fear and the plus one arrows. Five plus one arrows. Amber could use those. And Hops and Jaskier and Farul can get those and pull them back up. Mm-hmm. And for oh. and because you helped Farul get the stuff, he's like equal shares, right? You giving him equal share? Um, maybe. He lost his best friend, y'all. It's up to you guys. I I also want. Gondolo's share. Oh, no, that's... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's crossing the line. Calm down, my friend. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. He can have his share. But Gondolo's family could use it. Which I would totally ship over. Nope. You can Sorry. tell he's lying. He's very bad at lying. That's not how that. these things work. If you die, your share goes to the rest of the party. All right, but I still get a share. I still get an equal share, though. Yes, oh, yeah. only because you're taking us to the other place. Yeah. What other place am I taking you to? The no, you're hired on. It was. An agreement. You're hired on as our guide for the rest of the yes. adventure. Yes. Yes. I want equal share. Okay. Guys, I don't think this guide is a very good guide. He already forgot he's supposed to be our guide. Yeah, I don't like yeah, him that He's much. pretty bad. I think we should leave him to the Quippers. Yeah, it's blatantly obvious he is not native to Chult. He's a decent hunter, uh, but he is not native to Chult. This is the only place in the jungle he knew how to get to. I'm this close to, like, throwing him over the fucking lake. Like, he knew nothing about the maze. He knew nothing about that statue. Um, Seems rather unhelpful. Oh, for rule, for rule, would you come down here for a second? Oh, you find some more loot? (laughs) I did. Oh, yeah, he goes... He goes down. Actually, let yeah. He goes down. Lock him in the fucking cave. Um, I immediately kick him out of the cave into the water. <laughs> okay, so you were in the cave. You kick him into the water, and food, food. I yell. I yell to the quippers. Food, delicious food, very good food. And, and then you rope your way up. Yeah. Do Do you shoot him to get some blood in the water? Uh, sure. Let's see what my attack is. Um, does the 13 hit him? Yup. All right, I do seven damage. Okay. But I make sure it's non-lethal damage. I want him to die at the hands of the quippers. Oh my god. (laughs) Let's, let's, all right, let's see how this see how this do real quick let's see how much let's see how much these bad boys do the one there's two swarms of quippers in here swarms the swarm has advantage on melee attack rolls against any creature that doesn't have all its hit points and he's gonna have disadvantage on everything against them because it's a swarm so let's just see Actions. They get a plus five to attack with advantage. So I'm just going to give that a plus ten. Twelve. Oh, the first one missed, actually. He attacks back, but it doesn't matter. Nineteen. That hits. Let's see how much damage that does. 4d6. Oh, no. He kills a quipper. No, I just skipped that. Oh. Because he can't kill them all. 
How much? Oops, it was the 14. 14 damage. He's dead. He can't survive 14 damage. He's unconscious, I, and the quippers I, eat him alive. I yelled to the quippers, you're welcome. Yeah. I go to the Triceratops, and I'm like, I'm sorry, man. You didn't make it. I never really liked him anyway. It's okay. You can be with me now forever. Okay. Just keep the treats coming. Keep the snacks coming. Always. Awesome. Do you give him a snack now? I give him a snack now. Nice. That's going to up him by 1d4 on a loyalty counter. Um, I'll fish some of her rule out and I'll give him some for rule. He's a vegetarian, dude. Yeah, he's like, you know, he's a vegetarian. I'll wrap it up in a vine. You know, he's not going to like that. He's a no, he doesn't. He's a vegetarian. You need your protein, young man. Okay. Okay. He he takes a bite out of it and finds out it's protein. He spits it out and he's like, it's not a funny joke, man. As loyalty goes down by 1d4. Okay, I'm sorry. I I'm give him to... another treat. Okay, as loyalty goes up by 1d4. Go. No. Don't trick me like that, man. The meat makes me sick. You're right. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Yeah. All right. You guys gonna do we want to call it there for tonight? Yeah, I think that's a good mm -hmm. spot. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good.